Hello, I'm David Tresimer, author of Venus Eclipse of the Sun 2012. There is a big opportunity occurring on June 5th, 6th, 2012. The effects will last for months, but the phenomenon itself will not occur again until 2117. Imagine for a moment that you are the Earth and this is the Sun, and this is Venus orbiting the Sun from the Earth's point of view, that's your point of view, it appears to go above the sun or below the sun, except every 120 years, it appears to go right in front of the face of the sun. Some people call that a transit. I call it, more accurately, an eclipse. So what does this mean for you? Venus concentrates energy, passion, energy, eros, Erotic, yes, sexual, as well as kindness and attraction and desire, both positive and negative. It's free energy, and it imbues structures, forms with energy. It makes them come alive. Your dreams, your visions in your life. When Venus lies before the face of the sun, there will be an abundance of this erotic energy available to the earth you can direct that towards your personal visions or towards visions on behalf of the world. We can take on really big issues working with this energy, such as Fukushima. That's where the three nuclear reactors in Japan melted down and the fourth one is threatening to go, the biggest one. We can imagine working together, we can imagine nations working together, engineers working together to clean up that situation. Cooperating on a positive, a big positive vision. There's much more about all of this in my book, which you can get from our website, starwisdom.org, or you can get it immediately on your Kindle from Amazon. One more thing, if you're having a difficult time knowing your passionate vision, knowing who you are, overwhelmed by everybody else's ideas about who you should be, that's not rare. Here's an exercise that could help. In the next several months when this energy is really strong, you can imagine holding your hands just before you go to sleep. Imagine holding your hands like a bowl. And into that bowl, put the details of your life plus the question, why did I come to Earth? What's my vision? What's my personal purpose here? And then you let it go up into the spiritual realms and you go to sleep. Spiritual beings pay attention when we pay attention, when we focus on something. And they will respond within a day, three days, sometimes with words. That's rare, but it does happen. And sometimes with a book that falls out of a bookshelf onto your head, opening to a certain page, sometimes with a phone call that comes out of the blue, or with an unexpected meeting of some new person, all bringing a piece of a puzzle into place to solve your riddle of what your life is all about. If you need extra assistance, we have a program called Having Tea with Your Mentor, where we hook you up with a mentor who can assist you in this process of finding your own passionate vision. Have a great time with all this energy coming in and applying it to your passionate vision, both yours and for the world.